All right, this is our video on pussy language, the divine art of yoni breathing. You know, I've been selling yoni eggs for a while now, and I started selling yoni eggs because I was talking with the sisters about them. Uh, I kept telling them about the healing properties and powers, how great it is for us after restoration from any kind of trauma or drama or whatever has gone on in life. And they kept asking me, where do I get them? Where do I get them? And I wanted them to be able to find them from someplace that was safe. So I went and sourced out merchants that I could trust and who go, they go to the mines, they get these slabs, they carve them up for me, they bring them back. And it's amazing, you know, how this has grown for me. But in the course of selling Yoni eggs, I gotta tell y'all, I have seen some shit. Uh, I, it just shows me just how nasty some women are with their vagina. There are some women who just really don't deserve to have a vagina. I'm going to say that. Some of y'all should have been born male. Um, and there are so many ways that we dishonor the yoni, that we dishonor ourselves as divine creatrix beings. And I want us to get out of that. When you love your yoni, you make choices based on what is best for her, you, she. When you don't love your yoni, you have poverty consciousness issues. I tell you this as somebody who has worked through that stuff myself. Yoni eggs have totally changed. It's helped me to change the way that I relate to, think of, and experience my yoni, my vagina, my creation space. So when you have all these poverty consciousness issues, you'll be complaining about the price of something. You'll believe you can't afford something. You'll believe you're not worthy of what you desire. And that's the biggest problem. That's the biggest crime against yourself. When you believe that something is too costly for you. I remember when I was really in the thick of it trying to get through this, I kept asking mama, how do I get better at this? I want more, but I'm having a problem with receiving it. And as a woman, that's not a good thing. It's not a good thing for you to have yourself so uptight that you can't receive that's no good. That's a terrible position to be in as a woman. And I tell you, this patriarchal system exists to keep us wounded, thus small enough to fit in the world, which means we can't be the abundant receiver that we are because we're always expected to give and give and give. And that's not our position. That's the masculine's position. So there's an imbalance there. But mama said to me, whenever you tell yourself you can't afford something, what you're really saying is you're not worthy of it. Because there's no lack. There's no such thing as lack. And that really helped me to let go of that. So I stopped talking myself out of abundance. I stopped complaining about the price of something. You know, when I first got started with Yoni Eggs, I thought that $25 was too much money. Now I know that the $25 eggs are cheap and fake and dyed and they come from a place that's not safe and someone who's handling it that doesn't know what they're doing. And I value my Yoni so much, I have spent hundreds of dollars on one egg for my Yoni. I wanted a ruby egg. It was so important to me to have a ruby egg. I spent $400 on it. You know why I'm telling you this? Because it's important for us to hear from each other. Our tradition has always been oral. That word oracle doesn't just mean someone who can see. This is the orator. We have to speak those things as though they were. This is what the elder mothers have always taught me. It's a joy for me to share it with you. So you've got to value your yoni. And that's why we're gonna do this next class. Pussy language, baby. The sacred art of yoni breathing. And I tell you, we've got an early bird price, of $65 if you will sign up by next Monday, at which time the prices are gonna go up to 85. Um, and I'll tell you, we've got uh, six spaces available. I'm gonna quota the class. So make sure you get signed up and sign up quickly for um, five of the lucky sisters, the first five sisters who sign up. Lucky, lucky things. I have some beautiful rhodonite yoni eggs that will go to you. I took them to Jamaica and I charged them with this full moon energy and I, I put them in the dirt underneath a very fertile coconut tree. And I tell you, this coconut water, um, you know, this coconut water is really the water of life. This is the water we're supposed to be drinking and imbibing on. And I'll share with you some secrets about that cocoa water and the yoni. Um, so yes, for the first five sisters who sign up, you're going to be receiving a rhodonite yoni egg. And rhodonite is beautiful. I tell you, 
Um, I, I love the stone rhodonite. I love what it represents energetically and just it's a very spiritual stone. So usually it's pink, I'll tell you. Um, it's usually pink colored stone and sometimes it's accented by a little black flecks of um, tourmaline. Sometimes there's a little bit of tourmaline in there, but mostly it's pink. Uh, rhodonite soothes the nervous system. This gemstone vibrates with love. Just holding the gemstone promotes relaxation and brings a sense of well-being. It's a balanced gemstone and it's used to clear any psychic centers. Rhodonite raises your self-worth and it helps to ward off negativity. It has been known as a rescue stone. So, raises self-worth, nurtures love and sisterhood, aids in recovery from a abandonment or betrayal that's a lot of your problem with your yoni boo lends supportive energy heals emotional shock and panic and it will balance the heart chakra you sisters who sign up you first five sisters who sign up lucky sisters you will be receiving these eggs it's my honor and my pleasure to work with you thank you for listening ashe selah swaha